The Mortal Kombat Face-Off. Who would win in a battle between the wives of the two strongest ninjas in Konoha? Will it be the medical ninja with insane strength or the user of the Byakugan with chakra prowess? Have you ever thought of that question? Ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had, you, you, you could... Today we will answer one of the popular fandom debates in the Naruto series, or Boruto series at this point. Let us look at the facts of the situation, such as their statistics, power, and abilities, to see who would topple the other. The anime and the manga are filled with amazing fight scenes like the rivalry between Naruto and Sasuke, Kai versus Kisame, and let's not forget the climactic fights of the fourth ninja war. Even though there's inconsistency between the animation, the fight promises us a good storyline, which is based Basically, every shonen ever. But the one thing that sparked a debate between the fans was the argument about who would win the battle between Sakura and Hinata. Of course, if you're a fan of any of these characters, then you might have already picked a side. And I urge you to reconsider in the comments and find that, that opponent of yours who believes the other is stronger. Before we proceed to the video, hit and like the subscribe button and ring the notification bell for more anime related content from the anime. Subscribe now. Today we are going to settle this question once and for all. Who would win if the two ever faced off? Using facts and information that we prepared for you. So find your seat as we present our case. Firstly, factors to look up. Raw power. Sakura appears to be stronger in terms of pure strength. From the Naruto Shippuden or even the Boruto series, Sakura is a character that stands out for her imposing might. With her fist, the girl can break the earth. Hinata, on the other hand, began as a weak and feeble figure. She does not have a lot of physical strength. As a result, Sakura has an advantage there. After all, the Lord complimented Sakura's raw might first. Second factor, fighting style. Now this is an interesting factor to look up. In fact, it's a bit difficult to pick a side on. Sakura, as we said earlier, has a strength to which she utilizes it in combat through boxing with simple leg movements. Her fist is powered by her anger. Where if she lands one hit, it could severely injure Hinata. As Hinata carries the name of the Hyuga clan, her fighting style is more rooted in the taijutsu of their clan, known as the gentle fist or juken. It is a form of hand-to-hand -hand combat used by the Hyuga clan. It specializes in inflicting internal damage by targeting the chakra pathway system. By doing so, users can inflict damage to the surrounding organs. A simple tap can inflict severe internal damage, earning its name as the gentle fist. In terms of fighting style, Hinata has the advantage. If she can properly utilize Juken while maintaining to avoid Sakura's deadly attack, then she could easily lock Sakura's pathway system and render her immobilized. It would be a battle to get the first strike, and for me, I would give it to Hinata, who strives to master their taijutsu. Factor number three, abilities. This is probably an interesting factor to look up. First of all, they both have their unique abilities, and I really can't help but to want Want to imagine what this fight would look like? Could this be possible in the series somehow? Like one of them, where one of them turns evil somehow? Uh, okay, I get it. Okay. Or something. That would be awesome. Or there's a clone or something. You know, Orochimaru maybe makes a clone. You know, Orochimaru is trying weird shit. <laughs> So, we all know Hinata has the Byakugan, which can be utilized to gain information towards any person. This is an important aspect in every battle. Whoever knows thy enemy can win thy battle. We can see how Byakugan users use their eyes for detection and checking the chakras of their opponent. Hinata's gentle step, twin lion fist, is one of the best assets in this fight. Especially having advanced control over her chakra puts her on a strong stand against Sakura's pure strength. The high level secret technique extends the combat skills of the users, like what I've said, the Yuga clan is known for close combat and tapping on the gentle step twin lion fist increases range and boosts the already destructive input of the gentle fist technique. It can also be employed to 8 trigram 64 palms. A 64 consecutive deadly attack that will surely block the chakra flow of the target. Sakura on the other hand isn't all about pure strength is she? The combination of physical prowess and chakra control shows Sakura's tenacity. She has monstrous strength all thanks to her training under Tsunari. A concentrated chakra is a pact of massive destruction. She can destroy buildings and shatter the ground and noted that she was able to damage Kaguya with a single blow. 
Like, we're talking about Kaguya, like the queen of evil. Sakura's ninjutsu is also amazing as she can use summoning technique to call forth the katsuyu or the giant slug. She uses it for healing and replenishing the chakra. Sakura is also known to use water, earth, yin, and yang release. When she became an adult, she learned fire release as well. Nara can use healing as shown in the fourth ninja war and was able to use mystical palm techniques similar to Sakura. But if we're going to talk about medical ninjutsu, then Sakura wins that round. But since we are talking about abilities in general, the two of them have their own unique skills. I personally would side with Hinata on this one. Even though Sakura has and can sustain massive damage, Hinata has control by locking down her chakra and has a Byakugan which is an information advantage. And as we all know, our wars are played in information warfare. Which is why I'm going to say it's a tie for both of them. Fourth factor. Stats. It is important that we look at their statistics. After all, numbers don't lie. Just like hips don't. Oh, he's kind of cute. He's a murderer. But it's kind of cute. Having better stats proves that you have the advantage towards your enemy, which is why we're going to examine their different stats that are based on Naruto character official data book. The result of the battle between Sakura and Hinata may vary depending on which part of Naruto we are talking about. Therefore, let's identify who would win in these four different scenarios. Scenario number one, Sakura versus Hinata from Naruto. I think this is pretty much obvious. Hinata was stronger during their early days despite being labeled as weak. Sakura is much weaker than Hinata. Having the advantage towards speed and taijutsu, Hinata can win in one, I would say in a one-on-one -on -one against Sakura. Sakura didn't really have much to offer in the early days aside from her healing and her intelligence and, and her annoyance. Hinata, however, can use Byakugan and already has the skills to use Gentle Palm. Therefore, the first round goes to Hinata. Scenario number two, Sakura versus Hinata from Naruto Shippuden. Shippuden showed great changes towards the character both in terms of their physical look and their power. Sakura was trained by Tsunade, a Sanin, and the fifth Hokage. Though some aspects could still give a reasonable debate on whether Hinata can win, it's Sakura who showed her tremendous strength as well as her growth from the weak character that used to only be able to heal and was sort of smart to a character that was able to keep up with the Akatsuki. Hinata on the other hand has mastery on Taiju but it's Sakura's medical ninja speed as well as her monstrous power that proves that she can beat Hinata in a one-on-one. -on -one. Her punches can shatter the ground at a wide range. Imagine landing a hit on Hinata. That would have been the almighty push. Sakura could one-punch man Hinata if she landed a fully packed concentrated chakra imbued punch in her fist. The data shows that Sakura has the advantage. Damn, what is that, bro? <laughs> And even if Hinata manages to block Sakura's chakra flow, she can still win through speed, strength, and stamina, making Sakura the clear winner of this match. Scenario number three, Sakura versus Hinata from Boruto. The battle between the mothers would be a fight to invest in studios, hint hint. But sad to say, I believe it would be pretty much one-sided. Sakura would easily win this fight. Don't get me wrong, Hinata is still strong, but Sakura still keeps up with training. She assists Sarada and is active in combat. Hinata, on the other hand, is a full-time mama, focused on being a housewife. This does not imply, let me make this clear, that she is weak. She can still fight and pretty much kick my ass and your ass. <laughs> but... Not compared to the level of Sakura, which is why if the two were to have a match on the Boruto series, I would put my money on Sakura Auntie. Now Hinata versus Sakura, the fourth scenario, battling at their fullest prime. While Hinata's imbued with Hamura's chakra may look promising, there isn't any proof nor indication by canon to tell how strong her power is. I would still personally pick Sakura as the clear winner, even though I'm team Hinata, guys. Simply because Sakura has more experience in fighting stronger opponents. She took part in beating an Akatsuki, while Hinata just acted out of strong emotion and sort of got beat up by pain. Sakura was also able to beat Sudo Kurama and won. In the Sakura Hidden Light novel, she was able to beat a high-ranking member of the Root, which which is also an Ambu. The guy uses a drug that made him like Naruto with a full clock of nine tails. But Sakura outspeeds a pseudo nine tails and her battle intelligence boosts her chance to defeat a stronger opponent. Sakura wins in the stats. She has better experience and her physical strength is scary. On the other hand, there's not much to prove that Hinata can really beat Sakura. So I'm sorry for the fans of Hinata. I myself love her compared to Sakura. Let's like if we're being completely honest, but it is clear that Sakura wins in a one-on-one. -on -one. Therefore, it it's time to accept the fact that Sakura is stronger and let's move on unless you are still against it. You can prove it in one of the comments if you disagree and you can also provide more facts that could solidify Team Hinata's victory. But until then, see ya, love ya, and yo guys, please subscribe. Like, you gotta subscribe. Do it! That's how we make more content, come Just on. Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams.
Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true!